Hey, what's up guys? We're the University of Michigan and this is our robot in three days. What we've got here is a robot in a starting configuration. Uh, this can manipulate both the cargo and the hatch panels. We use a rear mechanism to manipulate the hatch panels. We can store one hatch panel in a starting configuration entirely within the frame perimeter, the hatch panel extending out. At the beginning of the match, we're able to lift up and collect the hatch panel and then score it. We use a mechanism with just a single hinged uh, lever and a stick. It holds the hatch panel on like this. You drive up, sticks to Velcro, and then this, this mechanism drops out and your robot drives back away. Same mechanism applies for picking it up. Where we drive forward, raise up, back away, pulling it out of the loading zone. Cargo can also be scored using our arm mechanism. The arm mechanism lowers down and gets cargo with a rolling intake. We then lift up and drive over to score. This mechanism can reach the heights of both the level one rocket ship and the uh, cargo ship. Okay, so let's talk about some of the more specifics on here and how it all works. As you can see, we have some churros here for support for when we collect the cargo into our uh, intake. Then we have these compliant wheels here uh, that allows us to manipulate it based on what size the ball actually is. This is powered by a motor connected by a chain. Uh, then the arm itself is moved by another motor, chain, and sprocket system. And it's also dampened by this pneumatic uh, piston here. The drivetrain has four six inch wheels on it in the corners and two four inch wheels in the middle. And they're each powered by two sim motors. Um, we also have two cameras up here on the hatch manipulator and a spool system for that powered by a <coughs> window motor. And of course all of this is provided by our battery which is back here connected by this strap. Um, and then here's our all of our electronics. Everything's in here. Uh, there's some stuff under here that you can get at relatively easily. Um, we've checked it with the rules and we think it's adequate for that. Okay. On the electronics board we have four Victor SPs which control the drive motors and they're PWM controlled as well as four spark motor controllers which we are only using three of right now. Also PWM controlled. Uh, up here is the Robo Rio and the radio. The radio gets power through Ethernet. And below this, this is like a little platform, the PVP. Just chilling down there. Your There's also little switches on the robot. Look down here to sense when the arm comes down. And one up here to sense when this has been fully used. Yeah, that's everything that's on our robot. We described it in detail. Okay. 